Kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel guys, and today we're going to be checking out a really nice and easy to use Town Hall 15 attack strategy. we got Ice Golems and Yetis, yes, and some Lightning Spells. So, yeah, let's have a quick look at the army composition, then we'll watch some replays. So it's going to be one Super Wall Breaker, six Yetis, two Electro Titans, one Minion, of course, that is Michael the Minion. The most powerful troop in Clash of Clans, four Witches and six Ice Golems. Spells are going to be... Six Lightning, five Earthquake, a Rage, and a free spell. Clan Castle Troops, two Yetis, or a Yeti, and a Super Valk. So, here's our first replay. What are we going to do here, guys? So, first stage of the attack is normally going to be using those Lightning Spells and Earthquake Spells to cause maximum damage. Now, it's up to you how you use them, guys. Normally, you can take out any defense apart from the Eagle Artillery with one Earthquake and six Lightnings. Then you can use the other four Earthquakes to open up the base. On this base here, we're going to use that one Earthquake and six Lightnings to take out the Scatter Shot on the right-hand side. My main priority would be the Monolith, but you don't get much value from the Monolith on this base. It's by itself. Then it's going to be a beautiful spam attack. Ice Golems, Yetis, Log Launcher in the center with the heroes. Grand Warden on ground mode. Use the Grand Warden ability nice and early. Protect as many troops as possible. Use those Earthquake spells to open up the base. Could have probably done it below the monolith. That would have given us more value, I think. More damage and opening up more compartments. Anyway, Grand Warden ability used. We're looking okay here. The King is being Inferno'd. We've used a free spell there to help him out. And it's all about sort of getting your troops towards that town hall, if you can. Taking him out and uh, making sure they don't take too much damage. We've set in the Rule Champion on the right-hand side and Mike the Minion on the left-hand side. If Mike the Minion is on the battlefield... You're probably going to get three stars, maybe even four stars. Now, the problem with ground attacks at Town Hall 15, guys, is walls. So if it's a base with a Town Hall on one side, it can be a bit difficult. And, of course, the Town Hall with that nasty poison bomb afterwards can be quite nasty as well. But luckily, we've got uh, invisibility spell towers, but we still need to deal with the Town Hall as well. The Raw Champion is trying to take it out, but the invisibility spell says, hey, you can't see the Town Hall anymore. The Queen's trying to make her way towards it. And I just like having ice golems, guys. They like to freeze things. They're good for attack and defense. You know what I mean? They can just sort of freeze all the defenses when you're moving through the base. And of course, we've got that lightning spells and earthquake spells to help out as well. The queen's taking out the town hall now. Can she take it out? It's going to be close. The unicorn's helping out. The town hall is gone. Yes, guys, yes. So I'm trying to find you nice and easy to use ground attacks. The Electro Titans work well as well because they take out skeletons and the enemy clan castle troops. You can, of course, switch one of the free spells for a poison spell if you're struggling against super minions because they can be rather annoying, can't they? On to the next base, Town Hall on one side. So what are we going to do with the Earthquake and Lightning spells? It looks like one Earthquake and six Lightning is going to take out the Monolith and some nasty defenses there. So there we go. Now, guys, word of advice here. If you are trying to take out the monolith with one earthquake and six lightnings, be quick. Because if you damage the monolith and it gets repaired even once or twice by a battle builder, you won't be able to take it out. Its health will be too high again. So monolith especially, use that earthquake spell then quickly with the lightning spells to take it out. So we've done, you know, we've taken out, I think, the monolith and a, was it a scatter shot there and a spell tower? That's fantastic. Now it's a spam attack again. Ice golems, yetis, log launcher, same again, guys. Send them into the base. What I like to do is, if I can, send in the Royal Champion a bit later on. Heroes and Pets is up to you, of course, as well, guys. And at this point, quick reminder, do remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell and join the Samus army for plenty more videos like this. And guys, do remember on the channel as well, we've got a creator code. That's where you can help support your favorite content creator in-game by using their code before making any purchases. It's easy to do. There's a C emblem in the shop in the top right-hand corner. You click on that, a little box comes up, and you enter your favorite content creator's code. Our code is code MOOSE, and you do need to renew it once a week. Anyway, back to the action. What's going on? There's some sneaky goblins there. They've come out of the clan castle, out of that log launcher, and uh, they've taken out the town hall. So, yeah, clan castle troops, it's up to you. I think with this sort of attack, I was mainly using a yeti. Um, a super Valkyrie and some sneaky goblins. A couple of Yetis could work. Balloons, probably not, because, uh, you know, you want troops, the sort of ground troops, uh, because you're rarely going to get the log launchers of the town hall, are you guys? Anyway, 
Raw Champion's doing a great job here. If you can, like I said earlier, guys, send her in a bit later to the battlefield when you can see what's happening. Avoid enemy heroes, single target infernos. And I know he's in the corner there. Michael the Minion is on the battlefield again. And this is looking pretty good. It's going to be a sort of close battle here. Can we get three stars? The Queen is trying her best. I think she's going to get taken out in just a moment, though. She's not got much health, but the Royal Champion, the King, is still there. And with the Royal Champion, I've got the Phoenix. I think that's a nice combination. Uh, some people like using the Phoenix with the King as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, but I think the Royal Champion with Diggy or the Phoenix is probably the best selection there. So here we go, guys. There's something left. Oh, yeah, there's a Dark... Uh, the Mike the Minion's going to take care of it. Don't worry. So we're going to fast forward the replay a little bit there. So guys, the army copy link is in the video description. Really hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you're watching, do remember to subscribe for more videos. It's easy to do. Just click that subscribe button. Have a lovely day. Remember to practice your funneling. And I wish you lots of three-star attacks. Goodbye.